Okay, it's about 8.20 and the town of Dangu, as you can hear, is just about waking up. And my destination for today is Paris. So as you can see, I'm just rejoining the Greenway that I left last night. In fact, up here on the right, you can actually see the old train station for Dangu. Just had a coffee and croissant and pan au chocolat. Nope, sorry, it was a pan au raisin this morning in a little bar. Got chatting to a chap in English. Told me a few interesting stories about connections between Dangu and the English. About Montgomery being stationed there during the war and about a horse called Gladiateur that was the first horse in the mid 19th century to win well the English classics the Derby 2000 guineas I'm sure he had a few more stories to tell I know these are very popular in Britain because you see them in little villages but I've never seen them in France before and there's quite a few of them on the greenways that I've been following but I've yet to spot any of my own books perhaps before the end of the trip I will One of the really nice things about this greenway, which makes it slightly different from the first bit of the Avenue Verte from Dieppe on that first day, is that there's loads of trees, so you get lots of shade on a hot sunny day like today. It makes cycling so much more pleasant. These signs don't know how to toy with you. Paris has been marked for, well, quite a while now, but this is the first sign I've seen where a distance has been mentioned, so 30 kilometers. It's one o'clock in the afternoon, so I should get there, no problem, by 6 p.m., which is what I've arranged with the warm showers chap. This looks quite interesting. Nice big park to cycle across, but hmm, that looks perilously thin down there. Perilously thin down there. I hope I can squeeze through. Okay, well, here goes. Let's see if it's as thin as it actually looks. Oh my goodness me, look at all those brambles. God. I'm going to have scratched and nettle stung legs, I think, by the time I get out of here. <laughs> Whoa. We can see this is definitely a big city, in this case Paris, and um, well, it's a bit of an obstacle course, but I'm still managing to follow the signs. There's one just to my right up there, I reckon another five, six, seven, eight kilometers to the peace of Notre Dame. 